Hello, this is Becca with Amazing Paper Grace, and what I'm going to be doing today is a basic knot or bow tying tutorial. It's not something that I created and it's widely available on the internet, however I've had a ton of requests so I'm very happy to oblige. The first three things that I would tell you is to use wide ribbon when you're starting. It's much easier to work with and it's much easier to get a um, graceful gesture, I guess, out of the knot or the bow. The second thing I would tell you is to be generous with your ribbon. It, it really doesn't cost that much and uh, once you become really familiar with how much it takes to tie a knot or bow, uh, then you can be a little bit more thrifty. And then the third thing that I would tell you is um, the worst thing that can happen is you have to retie it. So um, there are no mistakes and there are always ways to make compensation. So what I have here is double-sided satin, very forgiving and very beautiful. So I became a little more successful at tying bows when I got it in my mind what to do consistently each time. So, what I do is I always lap left over right. Once I have them lapped over, they will cross under. And then they typically twist or they take a turn. So if you're looking at this, from this side, this comes over and then it goes under. So if this were one-sided ribbon, you would actually be looking at the wrong side of the ribbon right here. Then to make it easy, I, I turn the card. You won't always have to do this, but to start and just to kind of get it in your mind, it's an easy thing to do. So once I turn it, then I will do right over left while holding. I will hold that uh, the knot down with my finger. I will put right over left and uh, again I will go under to make the knot. Now the thing I would tell you is not to pull tight and you're going to pull the right side more than you pull the left side, what you want to do is you want to control this loop because it can hide a multitude of things. It can hide twists. It can hide anything. So as long as you get that loop on top, you'll have a very attractive looking knot. So I'm pulling while I'm keeping that loop intact. You can kind of hold on to it while you pull so that you ensure it's on the top. Okay, I'll turn that back. You know, you will make a little bit of adjustment. And then I'm going to trim the ends. And there you have it. So that's a knot. And I actually had control of this part. Um, some people don't prefer for that part to be the top, but I, I, uh, I do. And it's not, it's not tied so tight that it makes the ribbon collapse. So your question might be, what do I do if I have one-sided ribbon like what I have right here? So I'll show you that as well. But this time I'm not going to turn my card. So I am going to go, as always, left over right. And now you can see as I go under and I twist that I am looking at the wrong sides of the ribbon, I will hold it and then I go right over left. Okay, I didn't turn my card, but I go right over left. And then I pull and I'm always pulling the right side. Now before I finish and I've pulled it too tight, I'm going to twist that ribbon so that I'm looking at the right side. That's why it's so nice to have this uh, loop or tunnel that's going to hide everything. Now I haven't pulled it so tight that it's totally squished and I'll trim the one side and that's my bow. You can just take a couple of minutes and you can gesture it as you will. Okay, I just wanted to show you another bow that I made that uh, has a little bit of a story to it. This was a one-sided satin, and it just seemed like every time I tied the bow, this was so, uh, it was a, such a long 
uh, loop and uh, it was squished down. So I took and I actually stuffed a little bit of toilet paper or tissue paper in there to bulk it up so that I had a landing area for my pen. So there you have it and uh, I hope this will help you go off and uh, gain some confidence in making beautiful bows or beautiful knots. Thank you so much for stopping by.